All right, what is up, my friends? We're playing some Modern today. We are playing a deck that top aided the either most recent or somewhat most recent GP. This is uh, a deck that floated around for a while in the past, kind of went away, and uh, it's been floating around a little bit. This is... This is Death Shadow Zoo. This is a much more aggressive version of the Death Shadow deck you're usually used to seeing, either Grixis or Jund or whatever. And uh, we're just trying to kill our opponent. We got Wild Nicodles and Monastery Suspears. And we're kind of using the prowess on Suspear. We're playing uh, Mutagenic Growth as well as Become Immense. Oh, we're firing those up with our Teamer Battle Rages, four main deck team, Teamer, Battle, Teamer Battle Rages. This deck can kill pretty fast, uh, but force Mutagenic Growth Pay life, make shadow bigger. Very, very smart, right? Very, very smart. Gib Slayers, you played your cyborg cards and you played your deck and you won. You're gonna get lucky, you just played. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Nothing crazy. Cyborg's pretty fun. You hold Hootie in the blow of vision of the cyborg, which is fine. Much talking. Heading out to PAX East today. Should be really exciting. John and uh, Nicole are very excited to go. Yes, Gitaxian Probe would not is not a reasonable magic card and would not be very fun in the Is It Phoenix decks. That would give them even more like turn one and two Phoenixes. What's up, Angel? What's up everyone? How's it going? Welcome. Apologize for the lack of content in the last week or two. Uh, I got really, really sick last week. I got home from SCG Philadelphia. I was feeling fine on Monday, and then Monday night I started feeling bad. By Tuesday I had um I had a uh, 102 fever that persisted for most of the week, so I didn't stream last week, I didn't make any videos, so I apologize for that. Um, trying to get catch up a little bit. And of course, SCG Cincy was last weekend. Um, I team with Tan and Grace and Ross Merriam, I played Tron in the Modern Seat. Uh, but despite both me and Ross being sick, we were able to power through and uh, made top 8 of a tournament. And then unfortunately we lost in first round of top eight to good friends of mine, Pete Ingram, Frank Scarron, and Steve Rubin. So What's up, Angel? Nah, we still play modern on stream, even when Arena's not down. Try and mix in a little a little a little uh little modern and legacy here and there. Um Do you get pro points on the SG tour? No, the SG tour and the Pro Tour are two separate entities. No one wants to play with us. No one wants to play. So yeah, so we're going to PAX East. Um, we leave today. Uh, John's got a hockey game. And we're actually going up, taking a ferry up. Staying at Mohegan Sun tonight. Uh, casino in Connecticut. And then going up to Boston uh, on Thursday. We'll be at PAX East all weekend. If you're going to be there, first raise your hand in chat. Make sure you say hi. And then... Um, should be fun. Alright. Street Wraith Bobble. Little uh, pseudo opt. Definitely gonna keep this. Don't I wanna play with the big guys someday? I've played in over a dozen Pro Tours. Uh, I, I played in the Pro Tour from 2006 2009 with a few other stops here and there. Um, which wasn't really getting anywhere. And. So I actually stopped playing because I just kept falling short of gold. And then uh, the SG Tour kind of brought me back in. Let's see if I can find my Pro Tour results if you'd like to see them. They're not great, but I've had a, I've had a lot of close calls, unfortunately. There you go. I have 44 total Pro Points from Pro Tours. That's not including Grand Prix. So... There you go. There are my results. How am I awake this early? It's 9.30 in the morning. What are you talking about awake this early? So. Um, all right, anyway. Upkeep. So we're going to Mistress Bobble ourself, see if you want the card or not, and then either draw it or shuffle it away. So our top card is... 
Mutagenic Growth. I don't think I want that one. And then we're gonna fetch. I mean, Overgrown Two makes it hard to cast. Makes our Wild Nicodle not actually good. Um, I might just cast Thoughtseize here, actually. And Nicodle gonna tag. Nah, maybe just Nicodle. Cycle Street Wraith, see what turns up. Excellent. Alright, so now we're going to cast Nicodle. So next turn we can go Thoughtseize, fetch Sacred Foundry. Perfect draw. Perfect draw. Looking for that turn three kill here. Hollow Fountain Eighth. So it's like playing Spirits. This should be pretty good for us. We even have Dismember. All right. So let's um, let's just start on Thought Seas and see what they got going on. Yeah, a lot of Spirits. Two companies, Kira, Wanderer, Phantom. Um, definitely want to play with Shadow this turn. Let's take the Phantom, I guess. We're going to kill them really fast. I guess the Wanderer makes it harder for us to cast Team Battle Rage. Yeah, actually, that's fine. The Phantom seems worthless. Let's take Wanderer. And then we're going to get... I if I get Sacred Foundry, I can't cast my Shadow, so I need to get something that can cast Shadow, but also pumps the Nicodle, so I guess it's just Blood Crypt. It's awkward. Maybe I should have gotten Blood Crypt to start, no, I guess I couldn't cast the Nicodle. My base is definitely a little wonky. Alright, well... We'll attack for two, not three, I guess. Spirits in 2019. All right, so we know their entire hand. Are they dead? If we draw a land, probably. Yeah, pretty sure they're super dead. This is seven, this is three, and Battle Rage. So let's get Sacred Foundry, pay some life, dismember this fool. Actually, you know what? Hold on. We should Battle Rage first, then Dismember to play around. Nope, never mind. They have this thing, it's pumped anyway. Alright, we'll just, we'll just kill this. They drew a Mausoleum Wanderer. No, no actually, they, they, they drew the uh, Sanctum. It doesn't even, doesn't even matter. Dismember is very silly in this deck. Alright, give them the old turn three skis. Deck seems pretty good when it works like this. TBR, TBR. They didn't play the wrong land, they just played the land that let us know they have no cards in hand. Or no new cards. Alright, so we're going to want Fatal Push, Fatal Push. Probably cut some of these Metagenic Growths. They don't seem as good if my opponent's not bolting my creatures. Bring in some pushes. Maybe the Inquisition. I don't think I want Faith's Shield. This seems fine, I guess. No, I still don't become immense, I think. They don't have a ton of interaction. Well, can't keep this one. Right? No. 
Ugh. This ant's terrible. No, nah, the last ant wasn't keepable. Ugh, this ant's so bad. Alright, we'll keep, I guess. I'm gonna go to five. Well, there's the combo. Um... Just need this in any one creature, basically. I'm gonna, we have four TBRs, I'm gonna bottom that. What's up, Lobmancer? Alright, obviously the fourth land, not really what we were looking for, but. Our top card is a Verdant Catacombs, so let's just shuffle that away. And I guess we're going to fetch a, a duel of some kind. I guess we'll fetch a Stomping Ground, because I can cast both of our 1-drops, and then we'll try and draw one of these 1-drops. Wow. Alright, well, I guess we're paying for uh, how good our hand was last game. Hate these delayed triggers. Thanks, Bungle Fever. <laughs> Alright, well we can just draw like a shadow or a tarmogoyph. We have the combo. One selfless spirit has been called. One monastery swift spear. I mean, I don't think we can really attack with it, honestly. I mean, we do have a pretty big uh, swing here. Can I help you? You did it. I'm packed, and I'm gonna be late for work. So I love you. I'll see you're, you later. You're packed. For what? Where are we going? Um. Oh. You're not going. Me and John are going. Oh, I know I'm not going. We're going when he gets packs. Oh. Well. You didn't want to go. I'll You're just stay here, I guess. Old. Cranky old man. Goober. Goober. Oh, have you been telling all these fine people that you might be wearing a costume this weekend if they're looking? You're for interrupting you? Goober's message, and they can't. For the week, it's time to watch the best magic steamer on Twitch. God. Sleep is for the week. Jim D. Goober. You are so rude. I am rude. I didn't. I'm sorry. What were you saying? Blathering on about? Everybody's going to be looking for you, and you're going to be wearing some ridiculous costume this weekend. Yes, Nicole and... I mean, John and I will be wearing our Cuphead and, and King Dice costumes on Friday and during costume contest. It's on Friday evening. At, like, 8 p.m., there's, like, a photography video game Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Contest. They, like, pair up cosplayers with photographers, and they give you, like, something to do, and you guys are supposed to go off and do it. Yeah. Well, nine of nine is eighteen, so they Hi, are Marty. they are dead. No wait. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, they are. So. No, crap. Almost dead. I should have played the fetch last turn. Yeah, because we're we're one card short for become immense. This is bad. All right. Well, yeah, it's bad. I guess battle rage first. The one I trample. That's so brutal. I can just attack and see if they block or not. Start by attacking. Mantis blockers. Well, if they, if, they, if they block, then... Are you still talking? Um, then I can't actually do anything. Yeah, well, we're going to wait a turn here. Have a good stream. Right. Love you. All right, does. I'll see you later. Bye, Make Dad. sure you're home by 3.30. I'm... Or, or whatever it is, 4. My relief's getting there at 3.30. If I can transport it with. Love you. All right. Um, all right, so we're trying to thought seize them. I'll try and set up for next turn. They have a vial for a selfless spirit. A path and a deputy. So we actually can't do anything because they have two they have two pieces of interaction. So we're just dead. That sucks. We could have killed them if I played a fetch land. We would have killed them on turn three. 
Oh no, I'm so bad. And there's there's no locking out. They just file in the thing. I can't counter it. I can't do anything about it. So, all right, that stunk a little. Punted away a turn three kill. Doesn't feel good. Just didn't think of the didn't have the foresight to consider I needed the extra card in my graveyard for become immense. That's okay. We'll win game three here. Um, yeah, same place. Okay, so... You have to play Goyf, two removal spells. They play a Noble. Am I going to bolt it? I guess I have December for the next creature. Yeah, probably. Wanderer. That's fine, too. All right, yeah, we'll just kill that. So, if you want Sacred Foundry Overgrown Tomb as our lands. It's hard to know how much damage we actually want to take. That's a good draw, too. Alright, so now we're kind of just like powering through with our Tarmac Wave Plus removal spells, which is pretty good. Supposedly they have like a path, it's pretty annoying, but. What's up, Sonic? That's definitely a path exile. Alright, that's bad. Yeah. Hmm. All right. No path. Where's my? Uh... They do have path. All right. Well, our hand is not great. Uh, we need to draw some sort of big doofer. A shadow would be preferable, but. Need a threat. Supreme Phantom, and they have three cards in hand, and they have this Moreland Haunt, which is pretty annoying. Uh, we're just going to leave this in play for the moment, see if we draw a shadow on this member or not. Okay, well, that makes things a little easier on us. They have Reflector Mage, Spell Queller, Supreme Phantom. Jeez. Um, Reflector Mage is a pretty huge pain. Um, once we actually draw a threat, yeah. And then we're going to kill some stuff. We'll probably just, like, go to kill this. They spell queller. We'll kill the spell queller. And then just hope to draw a threat. Yeah, Moreland Haunt's annoying. I mean, we have Battle Rage just to, like, power through it. We should need to draw one of our big threats and just, like, kill them. Fortunately, the second Battle Rage doesn't really do a ton. Four Battle Rage is a lot. There's a lot of Battle Rages.
They're not attacking. Why are they not attacking? Right, I'm gonna fetch a a tapped land. Just take some less damage. Yeah, we are drawing a lot of lands. Um, well, I guess we're gonna like fatal push this right now, so they spell queller. And they'll just try and Moreland haunt. This thing doesn't make spirits. Do I let's play this? I guess kind of sucks. opponent, passing priority, and all the cards in your hand. I don't think you are... Right. So heads up play, I should make a token probably. Which is smart. Excuse me. So let's draw a Death Shadow. Could we do that? That'd be cool. And now we're like in pretty big trouble, honestly, because they just have a spell caller and we just don't have any, any spells that matter. They have a Supreme Phantom and a Moral Haunt also. It's going to be pretty hard to kill them. We are probably going to need to cast a Become Mens. Yeah, I mean, it sucks we punted the last game. And, all right, they just like, you know, let, let me kill their Supreme Phantom for free. But if I do that, then they have Spell Caller to defend. I guess I had double Battle Rage. What would I run at PAX East for duo standard? White Weenie and Golgari. We're just gonna die to the Supreme Phantom plus Flyers in two turns, so let's just buy us some more time. So, we draw a team or battle rage, I mean, um, become events, and this is a 9-9 nine -nine with double strike, yeah, we actually just kill them, we draw a become, become, become events, they can't spell call the become events, we have two battle rages anyway, become events, I said become events, not bloodstained mire, alright, well, I guess we're tagging. We deserve to flood and lose this game after punting the last game, so. Man, Morland Haunt's never had it so good. Uh, become immense. Become immense. Alright, that game kind of sucked. We punted game two, we deserved it. We should have won that match. Uh, 
Should have had two turn three kills in a row. Played bad. Played bad. If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. We're trying out the Modern Shadow Zoo deck. I have not played this deck. If I have played it, it's been a really long time. So we're, we're gonna, gonna figure it out, you know? No, we 100% won game two. We won on turn three. Uh, unfortunately. They could have put them to one? I wouldn't have. We had Prowess Creature, Battle Rage, Become Mance. That's one. Plus six, plus one. That's eight. Plus another one is nine. That's 18 Trample Damage, Double Strike. They aren't just going to block without seeing what we do. They're not just going like, to randomly block my Prowess Creature and we're going to kill them. So. All right. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you follow on there. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on the old YouTube skis. This isn't bad. Um, creeping tarpet. So, One, two, three, four, five, six. We have 12 with Battle Rage if we wait. I don't think we're going to wait. I really hate the card Mistress Bobble. Just an awkward, silly magic card. I guess we're going to target them. Boz, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Polluted Delta. Right. I only have one creature here, and they're probably playing removal, which kind of sucks, so... That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, we could have bobbled him on their turn to play around discard, that's true. This deck feels pretty threat light. Like maybe, maybe it wants like a traverse package for more shadows or something. I just feel like we're not drawing enough threats. But we always have a lot of battle rages in our hand. That's not bad. Alright, coming in. Not thrilled about just casting this, but I'm not really sure what they're playing. They have snap push here, kind of sucks. We can't really do anything about it, so yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, obviously our King of Battle Rages are completely embarrassing against any deck playing Fatal Push. We're going to be sideboarding out most of our battle rages and stuff. And bringing in like Hootie, Hootie the Blowfish and stuff like that. I mean, we're going to attack and just use a Battle Rage as a pump spell. Try and get him to kill it in response. So we can cast this Tarmogoyf. Surprise. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty bad. You have a creeping tar pit in play, so I guess I was gonna basic here. Uh, 
Oh, oops. Yeah, it seems really, really hard for this deck to beat the Fatal Push Snapcaster Terminate deck. Just going to throw that out there. Sure. Like, who? What, what is this deck? Who plays Grixis Control? Like, what year is it? You know? Alright, well, we are tagging. Don't have another terminate, please. Lightning bolt's fine. Counter squall. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, definitely not that I could want to play against. Um, I don't think that Grixis control is particularly good in modern right now, but that is the beauty of the modern format: is that people will just play whatever they want to play. They could double double strip mine me if they want to. No, they want to fart pit race me? Wow. Alright. Spell. That's not a spell. Well, I guess we can't attack or we're dead, so. Modern is not currently a turn three format. That's just not true. Modern is pretty busted right now, but it is not a turn three format. The best deck in modern is essentially a fair deck. Just has good hands. Alright, so not a very fun game. Um, let's cut all of our battle rages and all of our mutagenic growths and all of our become meds and somehow figure out how to put enough cards in our deck to matter. Uh, we want Hootie, we want Faith Shield, Duress, Inquisition, Claim to Fame, I guess Brutalities? I guess. This deck definitely wants to play against uh, kind of unfair, non-interactive decks for sure. Um, push over Brutality? I don't think so. What's Push Killing? You know, just like Snapcaster Mage? Okay. This is fine. Um, it's not great, but it's fine. Let's bobble ourselves. I guess we'll wait so we don't get discard spelled. How bad of an idea is it to buy Is It Phoenix right now? I mean, I would not be surprised if Metamorphose is banned, as per my article. Alright, let's take a look what we got up here. We have a Thought Seize. We'll keep that one. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Blood Crypt Overgrown Tomb. It's probably the lands we're gonna get. Start with Overgrown Tomb. What you got, fool? Push Coligan's command. Bolt Tassiger Terminate. 
Yeah, this is this is uh, exactly what we signed up for. This is what we really wanted to play against. Um, all right, well, let's take Fatal Push, I guess. And then just say go, and we'll try and cast our Tarmogoyf with um, Faith's Shield back up. I mean, the Bolt and the Colgate's Command aren't actually that good. And then Tassiger is going to get outsized, hopefully, so... Another fetch. So we can go down to nine and cast Death Shadow or cast Tarmogoyf. I think I like just casting Tarmogoyf. Well, then they have Tassiger and we have Instant Sorcery Land Artifact in the graveyard. And then we can't attack the Tassiger now. We have to get the Shadow here. Um, so 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Uh, Jar, no problem, my friend. So we have a godless shrine in there for our other land. So our shadow can actually attack through Vertassiger. So it's a good of a reason as any to uh, to get that. Faith's Shield. Gotta look that one up on Gatherer. How about Pro Red? So they have Steam Vents, Tassiger, Coligan's Command, Lightning Bolt. They have two removal spells, but they're both not effective against our creatures. Do I plan on going into any panels of packs? Yeah, I'll go to some. I mean, we're gonna go to some stuff. We'll look at the schedule and see what's going on, and do some exploring. I'd like to play in uh, catchphrase tournament. Um, John and I are gonna do the costume contest thing on Friday. It's like a costume cosplay uh, photographer challenge where you. Cost, uh, people who are in costume go get paired up with a photographer and you have a half an hour to take cool pictures. So me and John are going to go as Cuphead and King Dice. If you haven't seen those costumes, they're pretty cool. Alright. Uh, unfortunately, if they could trade Bolt and Tassiger for our shadows. I think we're not even going to like attack. Mm. Yeah, we are a little flooded here. That's That's definitely true. Would I trade Tassiger and Bolt for Shadow? If I wait, I might just go too low and die to burn spells. So I guess, yeah, I guess we'll just stack. Let's also make this Tarmogoyf really big, too. They're not going to block. Wow. All right, well, I'm going to go to... I think they have Snapcaster Mage. I'm just dead. Ugh. Or another bolt, so I can't even... Alright, I'll just going to fetch Tapland. Yeah, I would say a removal-heavy deck with Lightning Bolts is probably our worst possible matchup. Don't think it gets much worse than that. Because not only can they just kill all my creatures, they also have the ability to just kill me if I go too low, so... Yeah. Tap steam vents go. All right. I mean, now our death shadow is an eight eight. So if they have a snapcaster mage, they can just call against command us for two, and then lightning bolt us. So we're probably just dead. But what else are we gonna do besides tack? So let's play our fetch land and.
All right, I guess they're they're probably gonna call against command us, deal two to us, and then bolt us in some way. No, they're gonna feel it ruin us. All right, well, no lands left here. We are tapped out of lands. The best parts of our deck are our battle rages and our become menses and things like that for our combo kills. And unfortunately, we just can't execute that plan against decks like this. So our deck becomes a lot worse. Uh, that's awkward. I actually would like to hard cast that, but I can't fetch. I guess I just go for the kill. All right, we beat them with our six land draw. I'll take it, I guess. All right, better lucky than good. Sometimes they just don't got nothing. I remind everyone to hop on over to Twitter. Give me a follow at your Davis MTG. I'll be up updating pictures and stuff from packs, so make sure you uh, make sure you uh, do that. Also check it out, Bernsey's Clue. Finally got these copies. Um, these are gonna go out next week for all the people who donated during uh during Burns Burnsy aid. Pretty awesome, right? So rest in peace, Burnsy. Check it out. Twitter. This hand is atrocious. We are going to Mulligan. This hand is better. It could even be a boat. Thought Seas is great. Alright, this hand's actually really good. All right, so we're going to get, I guess, Overgrown Tomb. I guess we'll, like, bobble them. Their top card is Terminate. That's kind of a tilt. Uh, maybe we just hold this Thoughtseize, then. Angel, thanks for watching, my friend. Alright, I'm actually not going to cast this Thoughtseize. We're just going to play a land and bobble ourselves on their turn, I guess. That's kind of a tilt. Alright. Well, it's not for our Thoughtseize, which, which kind of wish I cast that. There's a Blood Crypt on top. Alright, so we're going to just fetch something. Yeah, it sucks. Definitely get punished there for not playing our Thoughtseize. I think I like our line, but... Another Shadow. Hootie and the Blowfish. Um, I can get down with the old Hootster. Just Sacred Foundry. Just leave the artifact in the graveyard. What? I paid. What did I do? I pay green. Pay this. And delve everything but an artifact. There we go. Try to make him use terminate on this first. Because our our glyph's better. What was the old Blues Traveler song that was popular? I don't remember it. Sweet. Alright, I mean So Spear is kinda cool too. I think Blood Crypt is fine. Unfortunately, that Field of Ruins is kind of annoying, but... Nice threat-heavy hand here. I don't really want to play uh, a Shadow that's boltable, so we're going to hold on to these for the moment. The No Thought Seize line, I saw a Terminate on top of their deck, and I wanted to be able to Terminate the Thought Seize. Or Thought Seize to Terminate. 
All right. Mistress Bobble. Tilt. Their top card is Logic Knot. I might just cast both these shadows. I mean, Burnsy was definitely more famous than Giroud was. Giroud was also a true hero, but there's no doubting that, that Burnsy was more famous than Giroud. Don't have push, please. Thank God. <laughs> so they're going to mill the top card we looked at? All right. All right, well, we're going to shove here. Just put everything in play. If they have, like, Damnation, they can whatever. <laughs> All right, well, we're certainly flooded with threats here, so let's just make him deal with them. Oh, God, they have Damnation? That's so sick. There's no way they have Damnation. This is just unreal. Oh, okay, no Damnation, sure. Foothills. All right. Well, now my shadows are real big. Uh, they have like push, snap, push here. It's pretty bad for us, but. Looks like only a. No, they have a field. All right, sure. They just have a terminate? What are they doing? I don't understand. All they have is a terminate? This is gas. All right. Great. So they kill one, block the other, take six. That is really bold. I'm just going for it. Take the maximum. If you get two bolts, you can just kill me. It's fine. I'll take it. I can take it. I'm tough. Dread boar. All right. Collective brutality. Surprisingly good. Um, I'm just gonna kill the pyromancer and present lethal. We somehow beat the deck that should never we should never ever beat. Man, their deck sucks. Grixis control is so bad. If Grixis control can't beat like the crappy one drop Tarmogoyf deck, what does it beat? You know. That was cool. One on one, punted our first match. First tuning in. Welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. Welcome. Playing a little modern. Might play a little arena this morning too. I still got a pack for Pax East. We got to pack the car up. Um. I mean, the Pyromancer attack, they're not, they're, not, they're not blocking with it, you know? I guess the attacking to deal me two damage is worthless because it made the made my shadows bigger. Sure, that's fair. All right. Now let's play against a, a linear deck. Give me, like, Tron or something. You know, like, this deck seems pretty good against Tron. Yeah, this is a hand. Uh, we're gonna keep. I think we're gonna coddle into Sispir Thoughtsees. Godless Shrine. That is not. That's that's. There's no way our Godless Shrine opponent is not playing a lot of our removal spells. What a jerk. All right. Um. I kind of want a Thoughtsees before playing Nicotle. 
I thought it was only a 2-2 anyway. Yeah. I played the wrong land. Crap. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Anafenza. What is, what is going on? What are these modern decks we're playing against? Path, Knight, Anafenza, Flicker Wisp, Flicker Wisp. Oh, that's a lot of crappy three drops. All right, we'll take the path, I guess. Aether Vial. All right, watch out for Aether Vial. Um, so we can like we can go here. If they draw a land, it kind of sucks. Uh, but they have two big things to play, so I think we just don't even bother playing around it. Just play the Goyf. Currently, Creature, Sorcery, Instant in the Graveyards. Next turn, we'll Fetch and Thoughtseize. What is this? Alright, they, they didn't make a land drop. Shadow's a really good draw. All right, let's just be our thoughts see shadow. Thanks, pickle. I feel like they drew a path or something. Vile on one. Okay. A noble hierarch. That's annoying. All right, we'll take the... I guess the knight's actually not even good. There's not many lands in the graveyard. I still think I have Fenza. I suppose Flicker Wisp is annoying, but they have two of them, so it's not, we're not going like, to get them off that. Yeah. I didn't fetch first. That's the point. Sloppy. Yeah, opponents uh, just playing fair today. Just playing fair. Yeah, so I missed a point there. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. Fetch Lance a pretty good draw. Makes their night better. Deck's called Zoo. Um, just like any sort of one-drop creature-based aggro deck with like Curd Ape and things like that, which is called Zoo back in the day. So this is a a death shadowy version of that. Alright, there is Knight of the Reliquary. Let's draw Battle Rage. That is a bloodstained mire, but it's not a battle rage. Alright, well, once these flickers start coming down, we're going to be in huge trouble, so we're probably just in, just dead, but I guess we'll try and not die. TBR, TBR. My first Pro Tour ever was Pro Tour Honolulu in 2006, and I played Zoo. Standard Pro Tour. I find the deck list, honestly. Jim Davis Zoo 2006. Well, I don't know who all these guys are, but those aren't me. So. Zoo Magic. All right, so they block my thingy. It's fine. There it is. There's my deck. Wait, no. Am I on here? That came in like 80th. I like just missed caching, obviously. There I am. Pro Tour on Alulu. Isamaru and Curd Ape and Savannah Lions and Watch Wolf. Taking him to the zoo. Three giant growth, four shock. Yep. There's my deck. The Lightning Helix PT. I watched that happen live. All the Frenchies were pissed. Alright. Uh, 
here we go. Now they have Flicker Wisp up, which kind of sucks. My record in that Pro Tour? Probably like 10 and 6, I guess. I lost my last round playing for cash. Dryad Sophisticate, I know. It's a different time back then. Creatures were not very good. Scavenging Ooze? Yeah, we're dead. You've never seen the Lightning Helix? One of the best magic highlights of all time. So, Craig Jones is losing to Oliver Ruel. Oliver's at seven. He ends up charges him and has no cards in hand. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, we're pretty we're pretty dead here. They just have two Flicker Wisps off their vial over the next two turns. We just can't win. Yeah. Lightning Helix won the match. Put him in the finals. I mean, we just can't beat Double Flicker Wisp. Uh, yeah, yes. Her Herber Hall just dumpstered Craig in the finals, but... Alright. Um, I guess Goyf just attacks... I mean, they can block and fetch land. This would be a 5 fight. I can't even do that. Ah, we're, we're just dead. We just can't, we can't beat Double Flicker Wisp off these vials. Off the vial. Yeah, I mean, another another deck from, uh, from our opponent here who's uh, doesn't seem particularly well suited for the. I guess the deck seems fine against Phoenix. They have scavenging goose and knights and stuff and Anafenza, but I wish we were playing Tron. Don't think our opponent's deck ever beats Tron. All right, well that's one Flicker Wisp. If we can somehow get through the other Flicker Wisp without dying and draw Battle Rage. We have a chance, I suppose. I don't see how we can do that, though, because we're trying to die to the Flicker Wisps. What can we draw here? Him Bajooka Bog, too? That's cute. I didn't even notice that. Alright, we're dead. Yeah, uh... Our deck, our deck doesn't really want to interact. Am I going to bling my decks in Arena? Probably not. I don't like foils. I tend to just like the basic version of whatever card I'm playing. Basic oldest version. So, alright. Um, We're going to want these Battle Rages against them. The power through. Uh, definitely want these Fatal Pushes. Probably want to cut, like, Mutagenic Growth. Doesn't seem very good if I'm not playing a Lightning Bolt. Um, Faith Shield's kind of cool. We just go for at five. We just pump our whole team like pro green and just kill them. I could buy a Faith Shield. I don't think I want the discard spell or like Assassin's Trophy or anything. So this is fine. Let's try this. Angrath Avatar, maybe. We'll see. Oh, wait, no, remind everybody to check out CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, your number one source for all your online game shopping needs. I have a video coming out today in about half an hour. The video is going to be a preview for the Mythic Invitational this weekend where I play one game with all 10 decks I think will be popular in the best of one format. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com, video today. Check it out, and of course, use my, my promo code 
Gym 5 for 5% off your next order. Card games, board games, miniatures, role-playing games, supplies. You name it. CoolStuffInc.com. Morning humor. Humor. How's it going? If you haven't followed, hit that follow button. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you sub on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll stop. We welcome all plebeians here. All right. Let's go. Oh my god. I think our hands have not been great so far. I guess our, our we did kill on turn three in game one, but can't keep this hand. It's got the combo, but all right, this hand plays. What's up, L? How's it going? Bought and mulligans to six. We have a okay hand here. So we'll get a stomping ground. Might have been wrong, because now if I draw thoughts, I can't cast it. Mana base is definitely wonky. Verdant Catacombs. Third fair deck in our... Oh, it's, it's the same deck. Never mind. I'm stupid. I've got old people disease where I just forget everything. Obviously, we just played against this person because this is game two of our match. I'm just being stupid. Ignore me. Just ignore me. Thank you. All right, so we're going to fetch, uh, I don't know, Blood Crypt, I guess. Definitely don't want to draw more, any more lands, that's for sure. Uh... Immoral, I wrote 5,000 words on the subject of Modern Horizons. I went over 50 cards, I think, that could be or couldn't be in the set. Check it out on CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, you get lots of prowess triggers. God, tied out. what is going on? What year is it? Oh, uh, yeah, tons of prowess triggers in this deck. We have a lot of spells. So Spear is definitely better than Goblin Guide. Yeah, I mean, we just, like, don't have any spells here. Right, that's pretty good. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. We can cast a 1-1 one, one Shadow, which we're going to do. But I can't leave up Faith Shield. Ugh, it's mana base. I guess I shouldn't have fetched Stomping Ground. I should have gotten Blood Crypt. Brutal. Just Brutal. Just hold it in my hand and wait till I have face shield up. Ugh. Uh, Hazard is not good in burn. Costs four. You never want to have four lands in blood. All right, we're not gonna cast a shadow. It's only a 1-1 one, one anyway, we'll just hold on to it, play around path. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, so much for Faith Shield, I guess. Fetch land, I guess. All right, good place.
Eat my fatal push. Tasty. Temple Garden Tap. They only have two guards in hand, so like, they're not really doing much. We have one removal spell covered with Faith Shield. Um, yeah, I mean, this makes my shadow really big, so that's fine by me. Thanks, Dill. Appreciate that. If you missed it, check out my article last Friday on CoolStuffInc.com. I did a complete sideboard guide for Tron, which is a very good deck in the modern format currently. It's definitely good against the Is It Phoenix decks. Despite what you saw on top eight of the Open last weekend where I lost to Pete Ingram, who played Phoenix, my hands were pretty bad and his hands were very, very good. Please stop playing things. Flicker Wisp? Okay. With the intent to do what? Bounce of Forest, okay. What's up, Don? Another another Grizzly Bear. Alright, well, we are pretty close to dead here. Let's draw Battle Rage, please. TBR. Become Immense. That is... Interesting. <laughs> uh, I could probably use this next turn to kill them. I attack, they chump with the Scavenging Ooze. And then I just get them next turn with pro green. So they're going to attack me. Oh, the flicker is lethal. You're correct. They have noble hierarchs. Yeah, well, we can't do anything, so. What are we going to do? And we're dead. What are we going to do here? What's up, Chunky Butter? Yeah, I'm feeling a little better. Shield protects you also? Oh, that's awkward. Well, let's look at our next card and see if we would have died or not. All right, we, we, we were dead anyway. They were just going to kill us next turn. So I didn't fully read this card. I didn't realize it counts you also. Uh, but So we would have stayed alive for one turn. And then next turn we just died to the Flicker Wisp anyway, so it doesn't matter. If our top card was TBR, then yes. You can all yell at me. But. Could have also pro green. Yeah, I guess I could have done a lot of things. I just suck. By pro green attack, they have to chump block with the Flicker Wisp. Then they have two Scavenging Oozes. And two nobles. They attack me. They can block again. Yeah, that would have been a lot better. Alright, I suck. Yeah. So I should have I should have given my shadow pro green on my turn and then attacked and forced them to block with the flicker wisp. And then I could have played a few more turns, hopefully. Don says currently playing black white Eldrazi. Uh, with Thought Season, Tide Hollow Sculler, achieving results, not sure about the mana base, playing without Fetcher Shocks, considering what is better. I'm not sure. Don, I really don't like the Black White Eldrazi decks. Some number of Fetches and Shocks are reasonable, I suppose. All right, so if I pro, if I pro green, I can't, I can't team, I can't, uh, become immense. So... Correct. Become men's first and then attack? I mean, that's just like... I don't think we're going to win that game. But, I don't know. Whatever. That game's over. It's in the past. It's my opinion on hybrid theory from Linkin Park. I don't like Linkin Park. I'm not a fan. Um, Alright. Opponent mulligans to six. Our hand is... Interesting. Uh, we're gonna keep.
All right, our fourth fair deck in a row. So if you want to play this deck in modern, your goal is to not play against fair decks. That's your goal. And we are failing pretty hard at that goal. You want your opponents to not interact with you, which is usually the case in modern, but not today it would seem. All right, well, Lando, no. Let's just draw all of our battle rages and become immenses. <laughs> well, if we can play a creature, it'll be really good. Knight's Whisper, we are in the Knight's Whisper bracket. This is where we are, this is our life now. All right. Uh, Stomping ground. Oh, I guess I guess overgrown tomb sacred foundry. All right, there's my tarmer I wonder if you have fatal push or path to exile. Yeah, this deck is very different than, than Grixis Death Shadow. This deck is much less interactive and much more, haha, I'll kill you. Um, the problem is when your opponent's playing out our removal spells. Yeah, like we we keep <laughs> beating the Loliana of the Veil vale, fatal push decks. We're gonna go to the next game. Like Loliana of the Veil vale is exceptionally good against this deck, despite not being a very good card in modern at the moment. All right. So you board out all of our recommences and all our battle rages and all of our. Pump spells and just try and bring in some semblance of solid threats. Uh, Inquisition, Faith Shield, Faith Shield. I guess Brutality. I mean, we beat, we beat Grixis somehow, so. All right, good hand. Nice threat heavy hand. This is perfect. Uh No Temple Garden in the deck. Could go forest into Sacred Foundry. It does make our shadow a lot worse, but it does allow us to attack for 3 on turn 2. Uh, or we just get like stomping ground and just accept the fact that our Nicarals are two two. We do need, need we do need white mana actually. All right, we'll just do the turn one forest. There you go, one one. Yeah. <sighs> Street Wraith. That's not bad. Um, obviously our mana base is super awkward because I would love to cast Swift Spear and Thoughtseize, but nah, we know that there's no, no Temple Garden in the deck. All right, we'll just Thoughtseize them, I guess. The range is Thoughtseize, Brutality, Anguished, Unmaking. So now that Brutality can kill my Wild Nicotl. <laughs> oh, somebody kill me. All right. Um, let's just take the Brutality. They have the Thought Seize and Anguish I'm making. That's five damage. It's 
pretty funny. <laughs> what are the best combo in modern is currently? Faithless looting and Arclight Phoenix, probably. Spells and Thing in the Ice. Alright, they are at... Psychonis, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Happy to have you. Mishra's Mobble. We're going to fetch... Ah, oh my god, I didn't put it supposed to be reversed. Man, I'm off today, folks. I'm sorry. And we're going to fetch for the extra damage anyway, so... Their top card is Kaya. Alright, I've seen enough. Half Shame Concede, half Kaya Concede, because Kaya just kills every card in our deck. So, alright, I mean, <laughs> sometimes you get Modern and sometimes Modern gets you. Kaya is very good, I do like Kaya a lot. Get some hype for Kaya in, in chat, please. Look at our deck. Four, eight, twelve one drops. Only card that Kaya doesn't kill is Tarmogoyf. And they had plenty of kill spells for that, too. Did I mention Dread Return in the Modern Horizons article? Well, that card is printed in Modern, so it's not a not a card that can be in Modern Horizons. It's also currently banned in Modern. That card was in Time Spiral. I suppose we could hardcast Street Wraith, and it would be unblockable and unkillable by Kaya. That is true. Kaya! No problem, Kobe. Alright, we're going to finish strong here. We're going to play against uh, some dumb combo deck. We're going to kill him on turn three. It's going to be awesome. This is a hand of magic cards. Alright, we're going to keep. We got two more looks. Alright, right off the bat, fetch land. Tilt. What are they doing? Monstrous Carabid. Well, it's a combo deck, but it's pretty good against us. It's a combo deck that's good against creatures. Oh, boy. You match against someone who has a, a similar record. Our opponent is currently 0-1. We are 1-3. Thoughtseize is pretty good. Can't cast it yet, but it's pretty good. I don't think the Ragtusk is a main deck card in Tron. It is good against people's sideboards, not their main deck. We did it. Um, I still think we found Retarmogoyf, though. The next turn we can Thoughtseize. Because we can't Shadow also, but... Three, four, five. He's the, the, turn one forest is definitely... I don't think you ever actually want to draw the forest. It's just there for like Path to Exile and stuff because now we can't cast multiple spells. If we could like Thoughtseize and Shadow of his turn, that would be dope. Um, we need to not get Living Ended. All right. I'm just going to... Attack and play Tarmogoyf. Set up Thoughts Ease next turn. Yeah. 
All right. Well, we're killing them. That's a free char. Simeon Spirit Guide. Simeon Spirit Guide. Violent Outburst. They are turn one. Living Ending Us. We have our own Street Wraith in the graveyard, though, so this isn't even, like, that good. Turn one Living End has been called. Okay. It's a thing that can happen, I guess. We do have Mutagenic Growth to fight our Street Wraith through their Street Wraith. That's kind of cool. Yeah, Living End and a concession. Okay, cool. Fun games of Magic we're playing here. <laughs> I guess they didn't see our Street Wraith, and then they conceded. So that was something. That was a that was a game of Magic we just played. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to want Duress and Inquisition and probably just all of our Brutalities, honestly. Cut Dismember, cut Lightning Bolt. Uh, and cut a Mutagenic Growth, I suppose. Could cut a Creature, honestly. Maybe just cut, like, Nakatl. Um. Alright. uh. Yeah. That is, uh. That was the thing that happened. That was the thing that happened, for sure. This hand's good. Keep. Deporia, never apologize. Folks, if you can't resub or you can't sub, you have no obligation to apologize. I appreciate you being here and watching and supporting me. If you've never subbed before, I still appreciate you being here and watching and supporting. If you've subbed a few times or whatever it is, all right? You're awesome. Thank you for your support. Sour gummy worms are the nut, yes. All right, so I'm just going to do Blood Crypt Stomping Ground or something. I don't know. Definitely going to open on Blood Crypt. Swift Spear all day. And I guess I'm going to just Mutagenic Growth right now. It's worth three damage for free. Makes my future shadow bigger. Means I can cast shadow next turn, which is cool. This thought sees has to be good, you know? <laughs> On Silent Ninja, take that. That's what you get. I mean, Depora, take that. On Silent Ninja, you great. Thank you. Alright, well, Shriek Maw is bad for us. But TBR is good for us. Alright, we draw a land, we kill next turn. Their hand is Archfiend, Ceradon, Fulminator, Caribid. So, let's just play our Shadow and try and kill them next turn. One land kills him. Everyone shows some love in chat for Unsilent Ninja for being awesome. They play Stomping Ground untapped and say go. That's so bad for us. They probably drew Violent Outburst because they're very lucky. And there's not much we can do about that. Well, we're going to try and kill them. 
It's not even that. Yeah, I mean, it's, this this it still works. Oh, it's only a three three. This basic forest has been like a thorn our side all league. All right, let's tack. We're gonna battle rage first, and then become immense, leaving our Sispear in the graveyard in case they have the uh, thing they probably have. Don't need trample here because obviously we uh, have an unblocked creature. All right, there you go. Didn't do, didn't do the math here. I'm pretty sure you're dead. Yeah, you violent outburst. The card you drew for turn after I thought seized you. We did it! Yeah. All right. So we went two three. We finally played against an unfair deck. Unfair deck. It's actually really good against us, but we managed to win anyway, which is cool. Um. Unfortunately, that wasn't really a good example of what this deck is because we just played against a bunch of weird fair decks that don't really exist in modern, like Grixis Control and Abzan Aether Vial and stuff like that. Um, but this deck's pretty cool. It's definitely very good against linear decks. It is a very fast shadow deck. It does kill very quickly, a lot of turn three kills. Uh, kills a lot faster than the Grixis Death Shadow deck does. Doesn't interact nearly as well. And is uh, is much weaker to removal spells, but if everyone's playing not removal spells and decks like Tron and stuff like that, it's a pretty cool choice. Um, yeah, you just TBR get them, you know. Battle Rage. So kind of a weird league, but what are you gonna do? So YouTube, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. I'll see you guys next time. Right, YouTube, you great.